Hi, this is Amber with Little Elise Photography. I am going to show you how to turn this photo into this photo. A crazy comic weird style. So start off with a normal photo. I have, it actually, I changed the background. It was just a plain black background thing. So I just added a color fill layer and then a gradient layer. Let's see. Just color fill gradient really really quick easy and then I put just him on top of it so I would grab first step is grab the layer with just the body I would lasso his head quick lasso messy dirty lasso I'm trying to do this in under 15 minutes because I'm using that free screencast o matic thing and then I would layer via copy and I would select his head and I would blow it up let's see select I want to hit this little button so it stays at least kind of the same and then I want to blow it up let's see. it can go past the screen I don't care so I pull it down about the same place and then I want to tip it a little bit make it fun so, let's see, and then I would create a layer mask where his head is. I think everybody's blown up the head or something. So, create a layer mask and paint back his shirt. Can be really quick, fast. You don't have to do it really precisely. Mm. I don't like that. What's going on? Let's see. Okay, that's fine. And enter. Go back to painting. Make sure I've got most of it gone. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so his head is really big, but I don't like this angle. I wanted a little less angle. Oh, that's better. Okay, I like this angle better, but there's something weird right there, so I want to go back to the layer mask and just smooth it out. Let's see, smooth it out. Not a lot, just a little bit. That's fine. So I sm it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be messing with them in Liquify. So close your group, duplicate your group, duplicate my group, then I want to merge it. Then I'm going to go to filter, Liquify. I'm going to bulge out the eyes a little bit and make his nose a little crazy. Eyes that is not bulge. Let's see, I want to bulge his eyeballs. Bulgy eyeballs. I like bug eyes. And then I like his nose, but he doesn't like his nose, so I'm actually not going to play with his nose because he already is self conscious about it. This style of editing is not flattering whatsoever. We're going for cartoon bun flaw. Then I would grab this and I like to pull up eyebrows and I like wrinkles in the forehead. Let's see. I don't like my wrinkles in my forehead, but I like his. So push it down a little. Make him kind of cartoony. Pull this down a little. Kind of exaggerated. So, when you hit OK, so I've got him looking cartoony. The next step is I've got to duplicate this layer twice. I 
Okay, so we have three layers of the background, and I just hit something funny. Cut it. Undo. Okay, because I didn't want that weird thing. You want to control I, so invert this top layer, and switch it to vivid light. This is going so slow because of screencast o -matic, so I'm hoping I can finish this in under 15 minutes. So it's on vivid light, then we're going to run a blur filter real quick. Blur. A surface blur. I like it at 30 and 40. Hopefully it goes fast so I can finish this in 15 minutes, but it looks like it's going slow. I can mindless chatter here, but I don't really do that. He's cute and he's back. So I want to merge this layer down. Merge down. Then he's back in color, so I want to image. Actually, I don't want to image. Not edit. I want to image adjustment and I want to desat it real quick. So get a hue saturation, get rid of any color whatsoever. There's no color whatsoever. And then I want to run one more quick blur, and I think this one normally goes faster than the other one. So filter. It's just a quick Gaussian. Because I don't know how to say it. Gaussian is fine. So a Gaussian blur. Just a light one. Then you need to switch it to overlay. So that right there made him pop like crazy so and I normally duplicate this layer because I like his eyes to pop a little bit more so that's crazy so I do a inverted mask and I would paint back on his eyes because I like his eyes to really look buggy I think I'm painting back on his eyes yeah I like really buggy eyes. So then I would merge this down, merge down, and then I would merge this one down. So that brought back every freckle, everything. So merge down. So brought brought back all of his freckles, everything. Fun. So I use just you can use whatever skin smoothing whatever you use. I'm just gonna use portraiture. Just cause it's quick. I'm gonna use quick portraiture. I've got it on smoothing high. However, you can do the however you smooth skin. So the skin is better. Actually, it's too much. So I would edit, fade a little bit. Better. So, and then I would add another layer and fill it with gray, 50% gray. Fill 50% gray and switch it to soft light or overlay. Overlay. And this is your dodge and burn layer. So anywhere that it's bright, you want to. I didn't put that one. So I want to dodge. I always get them confused. 
We want to dodge wherever it's going to be bright. In space, wherever a light might hit. Probably clean up that pump on his nose. You want to clean up that, and then you want to burn. Burn. I don't know why the dodge tool is the little finger and the burn tool is a little magnifying glass. I've never really understood that. But whatever. You want to burn the little lines in his head. You burn around everywhere. Burn, burn, burn. So that made him look more cartoony right there. Mm. You can merge that down. Oops. I've got like four minutes. Oh my god. So I would duplicate this layer again. Duplicate layer. Go filter. We want an oil paint filter. And you want just the shine down, but you want everything else kind of up and fun and wild. Um, bristle detail. I think I'll pull the bristle down a little. Where are you? Bristle down. Cleanliness. Uh, yeah, cleanliness down. Bristle detail up. Yeah, that's what I have. Okay, but you want the shine all the way down. So that always pulls the color down, the brightness down a little. So you want to add a little bit more brightness. So you pull the curves up a little. Curves. Then you want a layer mask on that paint layer. And you want to paint back on his eyes. You might be able to finish this in 15 minutes if I had the right brush color. Paint back on his eyes so they're still sharp. I didn't dodge burn any of his clothes, but you can dodge all the wrinkles in his clothes and everything. He probably wants me to clean up that bump on his nose that I think he broke it in whatever sport he played whenever he was playing sports. Let's clean that up real quick. Oh, better. And then whatever else little cute moles you want to get rid of. I think he's cute, but. So, that was an easy way to turn him from, let's show you what he looked like before, normal, big headed, big headed bulgy eyes, and cartoony. There's also one more thing you can do, let's add a, let's duplicate this layer one more time, get rid of this layer mask, let's use subtract, delete layer mask, I don't care. I'm going to filter. There's a filter in here that looks kind of cool too. Yep, water paper. I think it was water paper, I'm not sure. I have one minute left. We better hurry up. So you want to pull that all the way down to a really low opacity. So it looks kind of creepy. So that was, I turned it from this picture to this picture in under 15 minutes. Um, have fun. Have a great day.